Good evening and welcome to see you at USC. I'm your host Paige Batcher. Tonight in studio my guest Jim Dines is the Mammalogy Collections Manager at the Natural History Museum here in Los Angeles. Jim, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So mammalogy, how did you get started? Tell me a little bit about your background and, and how you got into this field. Sure, um, it actually stems back to my days as an undergraduate. I was a biology major and as Where? at Loyola Marymount here, okay. at, here in LA. Um, as part of that major, um, you're required to take a certain number of field biology classes. So going out in the field, kind of like camping and a lot of fun. One of those classes was mammalogy and it was just happenstance that was the course available that semester to fulfill the requirements. So I took it and I really, really fell in love with it. Had a great professor, loved the subject, and by the end of that semester decided that was my destiny. So pursued that with more advanced mammalogy courses and um, here I am today, mammalogy collections manager. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's incredible to find your destiny. You mm -hmm. must have been 20, 21? Probably about 21, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how did you get started at the Natural History Museum, which is actually right down the road from USC? Yep, right across the street. So um, when I went on to graduate school up at Humboldt State University here in California, uh, taking classes in mammalogy, uh, one of the experiences I had was working in the museum there as collections manager. So this was kind of a part-time uh, TARA kind of position, that you know, teaching assistant kind of position. Um, and it's really kind of an internship. And by the end of that, I decided this is really what I want to do, work in a, a mammal collection. And you know, there aren't too many in North America. There are you know, several big museums, the LA County Museum, the Smithsonian, but um, maybe a handful of positions in that, that kind of thing. When one position came up at the LA County Museum, I threw my hat in the ring and next thing you know I was there so, so it, it worked out. What exactly do you do as a mammalogy collections manager? You're collecting yeah. mammals for the museum. Well I mean that's part of it but the collections manager is really managing the collection. So what a lot of people don't realize about museums like the Natural History Museum is that it's an active research institution. So there's lots going on that people see, the dioramas, the public exhibits but there's just as much going on behind the scenes. Curators and other researchers that are collecting things and putting them into the museum's collections, which by the way, number 35 million specimens and artifacts. Um, here in LA? In, in the Natural History Museum here. 35 million. 35 million. Now that's spread amongst about 16 different research areas, mammals being one of them. So we have 100,000 mammal specimens. And with so many, you need someone to manage the day-to-day -day operations. So that means um, helping visiting researchers that, that come to use the collections. And there are a number of professors here at USC who use the, the research collections at the museum. So helping them and also information requests that come in um, either about the specimens, the collection, or even just general questions about mammals that, that seem to make their way to researchers like me. So uh, that's the biggest part of the job, is actually the day-to-day -day operations of, of the collection. Now there is a little bit of going out in the field and collecting new things and, and adding those to the collection, but that's really just a small part of it. Where have those trips taken you? Well, lots of places, mostly local, but um, one memorable trip was to Vietnam in 2001. Um, this was what we call a multidisciplinary expedition. So we had scientists from several different research areas, mammalogy being one, herpetology, which is the study of reptiles, being another. Okay. So we had all these scientists from the muse museum out in the field in Vietnam in rainforests, jungles, you know, um, people had never seen Westerners before. That was quite an experience, going up into the mountains and, and, and the rainforest was sweet. I can understand that. I used yeah. to live in a remote part of Thailand in the okay. north. And Very beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. But I was a sight to be seen. I'm about two feet taller than <laughs> your average bear out there. So, Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a silly question, but with talking about this many million specimens, mm -hmm. what qualifies as a specimen? Are we talking animal carcass here? Well, a specimen can be anything, including a carcass. For mammals, we have several different kinds of specimens. It might be a skull or a skeleton or a skin or something of that nature. But 
our collections at the museum include things that are history related. So, you know, it could be a car or a plane or a document or from anthropology, it might be a, a piece of pottery from several thousand years ago or from our paleontology collections, you know, fossils of dinosaurs, for example. So all of these things would qualify under the name specimen. Okay. Well, okay, so, so tell me more about what you brought here because I have so many more questions. Mm -hmm. I think that this 